So you want an area node and you can just call this the name of your projectile. You want you don't want to edit any of its settings unless you have a specific collision layer. You want to have a visual. For me, it's just a quad with a material set to a Y billboard. We have a collision shape. This defines the collision for this area. And then we have a bullet timer with the auto start set to true and wait time set to three. And then we add a script on this projectile area and then we connect the timeout function on the bullet timer and the body entered from the area and then in our variable section we just have a direction and we just set to a vector 3 just an empty vector 3 and already we set to top level in the process we say translation minus equals transform dot basis dot x times 150 times delta 150 is our speed and delta makes it frame rate independent and the reason we do transform dot basis dot x is so it moves in the desired direction globally and then in our projectile body entered, we just want to say if body dot is in group enemy and body dot take damage. And in my case, it's 25. You can put your own logic here if you want, but this is just some basic knowledge. So you have an example to go off of. And no matter what, we want to queue free. And then on our bullet timer timeout, we just want to say Q free as well. So that's pretty much it for the projectile logic. In our gun logic, we want to have a packed scene and you can just call it bullet and then in our shoot function we just have a var b and we're just saying it equal to bullet dot instance so we're creating an instance of this pack scene up here and then we're setting its rotation degrees to the muzzle dot global transform dot basis dot get uler so this thing right here we're setting the projectile to that and its global rotation and then we just want to say projectile spawner dot add child b so the muzzle we're adding a child and that pretty much instances it into the scene and makes it visible and the reason we set it as top level is so it doesn't move with the gun so if i were to comment this code out i i can show you what would happen so the bullets move with the gun and when I uncomment it, you can see they're actually independent from the gun. So that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe if you found it helpful. Then be sure to leave a like. That's all from me for now. Fun Huber, out.